Hey everyone, the match continues. Let's get this thing started. It's Vote Chess Move 4. I'm gonna head on over to the play menu and check out Vote Chess and jump right into the game. Of course, as expected, C takes D4 is played. There really isn't any other option for black as far as evaluating this position. Preve uh, preventing white from taking on C5 and then trading queens and destroying black's right to castle is, is pretty much a necessity at this point. So if I'm going to flip over to the analysis version of this, I'll say that I'm going to play knight takes D4 and, and likely expect just knight F6 where after knight to c3, the real decision will fall on the world's lap, right? We've listed there are many different types of open Sicilians here. In this specific move order, we're left with the knight orf, the classical, the dragon, and the Sheveningen most commonly. I would expect probably in today's modern era that we'll, we'll see a knight orf or a classical. Those tend to be the most popular. The dragon, of course, would be really fun if uh, black is... By black, I mean the world, if you guys are all into uh, into that kind of thing, right? If you like it rough. So uh, if that ends up being the case, then then I will be pleasantly surprised because the dragon can be a lot of fun, and um, I just think that white is doing pretty well on the white side of the dragon these days. But there's not much else to discuss here. I think as far as other options I would, I would have, or if you're curious what would happen if white plays queen takes d4, it's certainly a possibility has even been played by some strong players over the last few years. But after knight to c6 gaining a tempo, white plays bishop to b5. And on bishop to d7, you get a trade. Something like this can lead to a couple different versions. Uh, white can sometimes play a Meroxy bind type structure and then bring the knight back to c3. And, and you know, white has a space advantage in exchange for probably having to lose a little bit of time with the queen and giving up the bishop pair. Of course, knight to c3 and followed by a quick development like this, bishop to g5 and castles long is is also very popular for white. So listing the options mainly to give you guys a little bit more insight as that's the goal of this uh, into what the possibilities are, what I would think is the best moves are in this position. Maybe some of you are looking at videos and games like this to make your own decisions about building your repertoire. But I, other than that, there really isn't much to say yet. We're all just getting started. This is still only our fourth video in Master vs. Many. We really haven't reached anything critical yet. So with that note, I'm going to jump over so you can see us in full screen action. And drum roll, please. Why do I always think it's a big deal? to roll the drum roll. That's kind of a cool feature, by the way. Notice that I can just press this button in, uh, in the new vote chess on chess.com, and it immediately takes me from either the main mode, which is here, and if I make a move, I have the option to submit it, or I can click this little analysis button, and now I'm in a mode where I can make moves and analyze just as you would in any of your daily chess games using the advantage of correspondence chess being that you, you have the right and the ability to, to analyze the position, move the pieces. Of course, something that would be more than frowned upon in live chess and, and would be known as cheating. But okay, we're going to go back to the main mode here. Without further ado, we play knight takes d4. We wish you all the best of luck, and we will see you around on chess.com, people. Come on in and vote for your move. Get involved in the public comments and, uh, and have some fun. Bye.